guys, I made a pretty vase that I incorporated elephants into the design. I made the vase to kind of look like a porcelain vintage style vase with a modern twist. This vase turned out super pretty and I'd like to share with you guys how I made it. Now let's go ahead and get started. This is a glass vase that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be using this white gloss spray paint on the surface. And it's gloss so it still has the shine. I kept that aside and then I got this decorative piece from the Dollar Tree and I took off the top. It was kind of hard but then it came off at the end of the day. And I got two of them, so two elephants for the project. Now this is a wire scarf organizer that I used to create these lovely mirrors. And I will leave a link down below and it will pop up on top right here. And I used the top part of the scarf for the project. I did not throw it away. Now this is another plate or a bowl that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I made a mark where I would like to glue on the elephants. Now because it's plastic, I decided to just go with stones to make sure that it's firm and sturdy. I glued it all around and leaving the part for the elephants and I spray painted it gold. I took E6000 glue and glued the bowl together with the white vase. I inverted the vase to make sure that I get the middle. After that, I turned the vase over and glued the elephants on both sides and then I used the support at the bottom and left it overnight to dry. These are acrylic gems and I will be using them to decorate the part of the wire scarf organizer that I cut out that I want to be using as the handles for my vase. When I was done with this part, I took my E6000 glue and I used it all around the parts where the gems meet with each other and where the gems also meet with the metal. This is just to make sure that the gems stay in place. And then now I'm going to be gluing on the other parts of the gems on the other side. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. This is what it looks like. And now for this part here, I will be covering it up with gems. And this was sort of a mistake. I wanted it to look clear and all glammy and, you know, just a little bit transparent. But then I realized at the end of the day that I needed to have more gold at the handles. So I later spray painted the whole thing gold because I couldn't remove the gems. I just spray painted the whole thing gold. And now to give it a more gold shine at the top, I'm going to be using these beads. I will be gluing the beads at the top, just where the gems were before. After that, I took the handles and then I'm going to be gauging where I want to glue it onto the vase and this is where I'm going to be gluing it. At the top of the elephant and then to the body of the vase. And I use the hot glue gun first just to keep it in place. And now to keep it sturdy, I'm going to be using E6000 glue all around. And to cover up the mess, I'm going to be cutting out singular beads from the golden beads that I have. And this is just to make sure that when the E6000 glue shows all over, it's going to be covered with something decorative. And so that's why I decided to just go with the singular beads. This is what it looks like. And it was looking really plain for me. So I decided to just make something decorative for the middle part. And all I did was to roll some of the beads together and glue them together and just roll it to form some sort of a circle. Not a perfect circle, but just forming a kind of shape after rolling the beads. And the beads have to be the same length so you can have the shapes looking the same. I glue the beads to the vase and this is what it looks like. And yes, it is sturdy and I can move it around. 
but then I'll advise not to overdo it since it did not come with the vase. I only realized later that the color for the gold is kind of different so I will recommend that you spray paint the beads just so it will have the same color as the gold that's going on around the handles and at the bottom. I really love how this vase turned out and the uniqueness and the detail for every part of the vase makes me love it even more. I used elephants to add to the beauty of the vase but you can definitely switch it up for something else. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this beautiful face and remember to like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.